Hi there, welcome back to another episode. Uh, in this episode, I'd like to talk about... Um, it comes up quite a lot and a lot of people ask me questions about this regarding um, people constantly asking questions. Oh, my team don't seem to understand me. They're constantly asking questions. My team just don't try and understand what I've given them. They just keep coming and bothering me and I've got enough to do. Well, first and foremost, as a leader or a manager, you haven't got enough to do. You, you don't have that kind of... Um, liberty to say. So when you've accepted this role, you've accepted the fact that this is what it is and this is probably going to happen. So all that out of the way, let's get down to the crux of it. So your team will ask you questions when they either don't know what they're doing, you haven't given them the correct information so they can execute it, or they genuinely don't feel like this is a good idea or this is a great idea or they've got ways to improve it or whatever. So generally it'll be those three things that you'll come across. So if the team themselves don't know what they're doing, it is something you need to look at because you either need to provide training for these people, you need to replace these people, or you have to get involved yourself. So you have to physically be on on the shop floor or on the site or however you deliver your product or your service you physically need to be there to guide them through every single time so obviously the third one isn't great i don't recommend just constantly changing your staff because then you'll never have any consistency so number one will be best try and train them to the point where they do feel comfortable and if you don't physically know that because bear in mind not everyone knows everything and sometimes you're put in charge of people that know different kinds of things that you do. So they have, might have a specialist knowledge that you can't help with. But you can get specialist training for them. So this is this is something that is quite easily fixed actually because there's loads of training providers out there. There's, there's so many. Take for me for example, there's loads of them. There's loads of coaches that help with leadership and management. So if this is what you're struggling with, reach out to one of them. It doesn't have to be me, it can be any one of them. Right, so then if your misinformation are generating a lot of questions, this is the easiest one to solve in my opinion, because that means your processes aren't great. So that being said, your processes can be developed, can be changed, just like that. It, it's, it's, unless it's a constant thing that you have to deal with, like a certain limitation of a machine or a certain limitation of time frame, that can't be changed, this is something that can be changed very quickly. So if you give poor information that deliver a lot of questions from your team, improve your information. Now a lot of people, I've, I've actually had this said to me, oh yeah, but you don't understand. Okay, I don't understand because your information you're giving me is not clear. Give me clear information. What is the problem that you cannot give this clear information? And I've even had someone tell me is that they're not educated enough to give this information. It doesn't have to be a William Shakespeare script. It doesn't have to be um, a NASA space exploration program. You're delivering information as clearly as possible. Try asking your team how they want it. What information do they require? Write a list, do a couple of examples, and then go see whether they are actually doing it. And if that actually helps, you're going to save yourself a load of questions, you're going to learn something at the same time, and you're going to have a more efficient, and most of all, profitable team and function. So I hope that's helped you out. Um, this video will be going out between Christmas and New Year. So uh, I hope you're safe, I hope you're well. I hope that you've had a good Christmas and that you're planning a nice new year. Hopefully the world won't implode for us in the UK and we all go back into lockdown in January, even though it does seem like it's looking that way. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe if you do actually like this video and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.